A lot of people are theorizing that this mysterious angelic looking woman that appeared in the recent Has Been Hotel trailer is perhaps Vaggie's mom due to the visual similarities and their color scheme. This hails back to a big theory that Vaggie herself is an angel instead of a sinner, so I guess this is my job today. But real quick, I'll be putting out a video tomorrow breaking down all the cool lore found in the Has Been Hotel trading cards. But until then, go watch me unbox them over on our channel Random Universe, link in the description, pinned comment down below up in the corner right now, and in the pop-up at the end of the video. I'll see you guys there. Now, the most recent Has Been Hotel trailer showed a lot more of the angels and even some of the carnage of a battle involving them, but the most interesting thing was this close-up of a woman with an angelic-looking crown. With Vaggie's similar color scheme, is it possible that she is either this woman's daughter or just an angel in general? Has Been Hotel, of course, originally started as a subplot for a future arc in Vivzy Pop's comic book series, Zoophobia. Here, Charlie was not royalty in Hell, but just another one of the sinners, all of whom seem to be on the run from Hell because they believe that they were being punished unfairly, while worse sinners have made it into Heaven, or at least escaped damnation. The switch to making Has Been Hotel its own independent series separate from Zoophobia came with the very obvious change that Charlie was no longer a sinner, but now the daughter of the King of Hell, Lucifer. With that in mind, the other characters could have different backstories in Has Been Hotel as well, including Vaggie, who is presented as just a moth-themed sinner in the Zoophobia comics, but who many fans of course think could be an angel of some type in Has Been Hotel. Evidence for this comes from the similarities between Vaggie and the Exorcist, as well as this new long-haired looking angel fanning the flames. Vaggie is famous for the X over her eye, similar to the X over the eyes of some of the Exorcists, though it's been confirmed that the Exorcists are wearing LED masks as part of their uniforms, and that they don't really have X's over their eyes. Vaggie's X instead seems to be similar to others we see in the show on demonic characters, including Alistair for a brief moment, which seems to either allude to an injury in life, such as the wound that killed a character, or permanent damage done by an angelic weapon in Hell, as in addition to killing an immortal sinner, they are said to be able to deal permanent damage to your body. While Stolas as a Goetia walked away with what is probably just scars underneath his feathers, gouging out his eyes like Stryker wanted to likely would have made them impossible to grow back, and like Vaggy, he could have had an X over his eyes instead. Additionally, some fans speculate that the reason Vaggy has her angelic weapon in the show is because she herself was an angel. That being said, Vaggy could have picked it up off the street like we see a woman doing after the extermination, or bought it on the black market from such a woman. I have even theorized in the past that Vaggy may have received it as a sort of gift from Charlie's parents, who were said in ancient livestream lore to vet Vaggy and Charlie's dating interest in general. While Charlie is immensely powerful on her own, she is also very naive, and I could see them giving Vaggy this weapon not just to protect Charlie, as demons are happy to swing at her even during her live news broadcasts, but likely to protect herself along the way, since she'd be targeted for being close to Charlie. As for her color scheme, Vaggie has had a lot of different color designs over the years with various colors, though with them mostly being darker and muted like in the show. Though her has-been iteration is a bit brighter than even her more colorless previous forms. Because of this, some fans think that her design may have been purposely made to match the exterminators, and perhaps the angels as a whole, as I don't imagine the angelic woman with the crown to be an exterminator herself, but rather another angel. Exterminators are descendants of Adam who lived a life on Earth as a human like a sinner would, but then died and went to heaven. The Exterminators are only females, but there would be no reason for any of them to wear a crown that made it seem like they outrank Adam. This woman is instead believed to be a high-ranking natural-born angel, similar to Lucifer due to her crown. Now, in ancient livestream lore, again, Vaggie was said to have lived a human life, and she indicates that she has not been in hell as long as Angel, who is supposed to have died in the 1940s. Vaggie is said to be Salvadorian and even speaks Spanish in the pilot, with Vizipop saying the pilot seems to still be canon as we go into the series proper. So I just don't see this woman as being an angel that is related to Vaggie in some important way. Instead, I think that this angel is just her own independent higher angel, likely modeled after the angel who was originally hunting these sinners in the Zoophobia comic, who believed that all sinners deserve to be punished. With her human life in mind, the only remaining option for Vaggie to be an angel would be for her to have been one of the exterminators. According to this theory, Vaggie would have been an Earth-born human who lived a natural human life and then went on to heaven after she died. While it is portrayed as really hard to get into heaven without some sort of corruption or bribery of sorts involved, we do know that characters like Angel's sister Molly and her mother were said to be angels living in heaven, while Angel, his father, and brother ended up in hell for their crimes as a mob family. 
With that in mind, Vaggy could have gone to heaven, perhaps as one of the lowest standard entries to help keep their army of exterminators alive, which likely makes up the largest number of female humans turned angels in heaven. Vaggy is supposed to have died in the 80s and is only somewhat recently dating Charlie, so she could have been an exterminator for quite some time if this theory was true, before perhaps running into Charlie during the annual extermination. Charlie hates the annual extermination, and I imagine her as perhaps having gone out at one point to witness it for herself, to see the horrors and understand what was going on in her kingdom. While there, perhaps Vaggy tried to attack her, thinking her as just another sinner. Charlie could defend herself, but being empathetic, I don't think she would outright attack Vaggy back, just neutralizing her threat by removing her weapon and giving Vaggy a chance to see Charlie, perhaps even crying. This would give Vaggy the chance to reflect on what she is doing as a supposedly good angel, fall in love with Charlie, and perhaps choose to stay behind and not return to heaven. Despite Vaggy's similarities to the Exorcist, she does look different from them as well, but that can also be explained in the show. According to the writers, the demonic and angelic forms are decided by where you dwell, not where you are visiting, with Lucifer looking more demonic than angelic because we see him in hell after he has been banished there from heaven. Sinners likewise would get an angelic form if they were let into heaven, and that would mean that angels would get sinner forms if they chose purposely to reside in hell. Vaggy thus could have a transformation from her exorcist form to her more demonic moth form, having a lot of the same details but still looking different. Now, I like this theory and wouldn't be surprised if it found some way of working out in the show, but ultimately I don't think that will be the case, which is also fine because we instead should be able to dig into Vaggy's character as a sinner, which is very interesting. Now, this detail is lost, and I could be misremembering, but I'm fairly certain in an ancient Egyptian livestream, Vizipop or someone in the crew claimed that Vaggy was actually in a criminal gang or cartel while in life. And that is where her interest and skill with weapons comes from, with her dying rather young because of the lifestyle. Now, with that in mind, I just don't see her as getting into heaven, especially when a key part of her character is being filled with too much rage to not get violent. Instead, I really like Vaggy as she appears in the early Zoophobia comic strips, where Angel is just being silly and goofy, but Vaggy is expressing some real stress about being trapped as a sinner. I like the unfairness she represents when talking about how other people sinned worse than them in their human lives, but still escaped the tragic punishments that they were experiencing in hell. Either way, Vaggy is a pretty cool character, but what I really love about her is being just a very naturally flawed human with anger that isn't afraid to fight for what she thinks is right, and who doesn't think that her anger makes her some sort of bad person. She's in hell, but she's doing her best to wield the power she has in order to make it better. She may not believe in Charlie's dream, but she surely believes in hell being a better place if everyone worked together, and she believes that the sinners, herself included, are being unfairly punished. But what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Enjoy our Merry Christmas art of the Cartoon Universe team as demons drawn by Aldo, and don't forget to check out that Hasbin Hotel trading cards video over on Random Universe. See you guys there.